Mikhail Khodorkovsky got released by President Vladimir Putin in December 2013 and he looked as if he had never seen a Siberian hard labor camp from the inside, which he probably never has. This extremely dangerous criminal stole billions or maybe trillions from the Russian people and brought the stolen money to the motherland Switzerland thanking the Swiss Justice Department for taking good care of his money and for blocking the Russian financial authorities, like the IRS, not providing legal help to them. So this was in the newspaper from Basel, the, the Basler Zeitung. And in Basel, the, that's, that's the town where the... Um, where the bis is from, so that's the bank of uh, the bank of international settlements. The one on Black Tuesday robbed the American people blind and and financed Adolf Hitler with that. That was the the Nazi bank in Basel. So you can see this is on December the twenty second, two thousand thirteen, and this is what the newspaper where it was in Basler Zeitung, the Butts. Yeah, you know, the butts at the base, the Bank of International Settlements, a whole bunch of crooks. Khodorkovsky says he wants to rejoin Switzerland, where he's based and where his wife and children live. And have a Christmas and New Year's toast with a Swiss pharaonic wine called the Pyramid Wine. Well, this is the Pyramid Wine from the motherland of the pharaohs. These are no Europeans. Get out of here. The pharaoh wine. Well, these are the kind of immigrants the Swiss Nazi Justice Department hopes to see, whereas other immigrants get stigmatized and terrorized for life thus abiding the Swiss tradition of double standards and Swiss hypocrisy. This pharaonic big-time criminal who, who's tightly organized with the financial mafia of the motherland says he wants to help political prisoners. Well, he's gonna do shit, I tell you. He's never been in a prison. He could start in Nazi Switzerland, which is full of political prisoners. Komitet Gosodarstvenoi Bezopaznosti, KGB, and Putin are all together in bed with Khodorkovsky. Greetings from Switzerland, and we take care after your money, even if you have been 10 years in a Siberian hard labor camp. Bye bye, Kruzzi.